Hey, thank you so much for watching the Bunkies YouTube channel. My name is John and today we're going to talk more about Chia. So one question I've seen over and over in several of my videos is how do I build the cheapest um, Chia farming build? A lot of people are calling it mining uh, with Chia. It's called farming, but it's essentially the same thing. It reminds me of Farmville, where all your friends on Facebook used to ask you to help them with their farm. This is maybe a little bit different, but you're basically plotting your farm onto hard drives with some computer, and then ultimately farming it or harvesting it to earn Chia as the reward. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build a Chia farming plotter harvester all in one using a Raspberry Pi for under $500. Now the cheapest way to do this still is to use a computer that you already own, but if you do have to buy something, a Raspberry Pi is significantly cheaper than just buying a motherboard, you know, CPU, power supply, RAM, it all starts to add up, and then the hard drives. Um, so if you're just getting started, this might be worth watching and taking a look at. So first off, uh, Chia.net or Chia Network is the official site. If you click the top green button, it says install Chia blockchain. You get here, let me make it bigger. You see other platforms and we have Raspberry Pi 4 right here at the top. So when we click this, it says ex experimental, excuse me. Um, on Reddit, there's plenty of people that have installed it. You just have to make sure to get the Raspberry Pi 4 and this one was tested with the four gigs of RAM. I'd get the eight. I think it's a $20, $30 difference, and I'll show you that right now. And it basically uses uh, Ubuntu, um, Raspbian 64. It has it all right here in the guide. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So over here on Amazon store, I put together a list of all the parts. Now I have a slightly different case because I already had a Raspberry Pi 4, but the Kana kit is an excellent um, choice. So let's start here. Open this up. So Kana kit, Raspberry Pi 4, eight gig starter kit. What I like about this is it comes with this over here, the on off switch. You can't just rip out the plug. The heat sinks, those little uh, aluminum metal looking things right there and a fan and the reason I like this is the Raspberry Pi 4 tends to get hot so even that little fan on the top really does help so I have one right here it's a clear case if you want a different case you can click around and find one let me just make sure it doesn't fall out so these are just black heat sinks so there's one two three four each of these chips get pretty darn hot and if you're plotting and farming on this uh, mini rig, uh, you're gonna want to have those. And then there's a little fan right here and you connect it to the fan headers on the end. Um, then you put the case together and it's powered USB-C. So you could technically get a Raspberry Pi without the kit. You can't even get the case back on and power it with your cell phone charger, etc. Um, back here, hard to see, there's the 32 gig SD card. So you see that over here. Um, and then let's see what else I want to show you. Oh yes. On this side, there's two USB threes and then two USB twos. And then of course your ethernet on this particular case, it leaves all the IO ports open and it has little feedies. You don't technically need these. You really just need to plug the fan in and be done with it when you're farming Chia. So with that being said, let's take a look at this. Uh, one thing to point out is a lot of people don't seem to know this coupon trick. If I click here, I now have the coupon to save $10, which puts us at 109. So we'll just make a little list here. Raspberry Pi 8 gig is 109. Of course, this is all USD. It'll be based on your country. They say the four gig will work and you can save $5. So that'll put us, I'll just put that in here. I always try more is better. I know it's a cheapo computer, but spend a little bit extra possibly on the Pi 
for that little bit of boost of RAM. So it's going to be $94. All right, so we're still under our 500. Next, I would get some hard drives. Now I put some options in here. They're all a little bit different. So um, I have an MVME uh, 512, a 500 gig um, Western Digital Blue MVME, a tool free USB 3 MVME external drive holder because there's no way to hook MVME to this. Now there are hats that go on top of the pie that allow for MVME, but the price while well, we're starting to keep under our $500 price tag or cheaper if possible, and I'll show you how that all works in just a second, um, then you can do that. So of course, if you have more money, get a hat. Uh, if you have more money, get a full on computer and I will do a build on that as well. If you're interested, just let me know in the comments below. So other hard drives, um, this is a straight external. I really like WD Reds. They're meant for NAS drives and lots of read and writes. I've purchased quite a few of these for Synology units that I have for storing surveillance and business files, etc. And then uh, WD is my favorite, and then I do have Seagates on here. But the next thing I'd look at purchasing is either the MVMEs or a, 3 point, a USB 3.0 SSD external. So look at this one really quick. Um, this one's been in and out of in stock in the last couple days and I've been mulling over um, which one I want to get as well. The one terabyte puts us at 149 and the 500 puts us at 84. So the K32 plot takes, oh, I gotta go look, it is 260 gigs, I think, of temp space. So 250, tip, I know a 250 gig doesn't work for the temp space. So you'll want at least a 500, which is the smallest this gets. So this will be our temp directory uh, writing one. So I'll say WD 500 gig external. Puts us at $84.99, no coupon. Uh, and then we'll just put in the print, let's see, a one terabyte. Now the read write on these, I can't imagine is the best. They're really used for photos. Um, not the best as far as speed, the best as far as longevity. Um, but no one really knows because Chia is very new. So the hard drive shortage has definitely started. Now we'll see longevity and how reliable each brand is. So let's say 149.99. All right, so what are we at? Like 100, 200 with tax-ish. And then, so this is our temporary for our plotting. And then we need long-term storage. And that, like I said, if you have drives lying around, I've showed previous videos where I have all these drives and now they're all hooked up plotting. So I can't unhook them. But I've bought two of these, and I've looked at buying these, but they're they're disappearing. Um, some people buy these 12 terabytes, and then let me go back here. If you open them up, it actually has red drives in it. So if you want a WD red drive and you have a way to plug it in to your Raspberry Pi, I'll show you how to do that. If you look here, a 12 terabyte drive just the internal one is $309.99. If I go back here, it is $280. I mean, that's a significant discount. Now, when you bust this open and pull the drive out, you do lose the warranty. Um, I haven't actually opened one of these because I had internal drives already. Um, I'm guessing you can put it right back and get the warranty. We'll see. Then the reason I like WD is a lot of people ask me, is when an internal drive dies, so I have a Synology NAS unit, it'll say you have IO errors, et cetera, you hear the thing grinding like crazy. I go on their support site, I check the warranty, and I do an RMA. If you give a credit card, they'll send you another drive before you send the other one back. If you don't, you have to send them the drive and then they'll send it back. I've done it multiple times. Um, a three-year warranty on these um, internal drives if we're gonna beat the crap out of it doing Chia plotting, I actually kind of like that. Now they have a pro version of this 
where the price is up, up, and away, but it gives you a five-year warranty. So you kind of just weigh your options. All right, so let's go back. So my book, so this would be the, let's see, I don't think I was gonna do 12. Let's see. Maybe I'll do 12 at 280. Oh yeah, I think it'll work. Uh, the WD elements typically are cheaper. Let's see here. 12, oh yeah, now about $11 cheaper. What's the 10 look like? 209, not bad. You see the read speed, 113.5 megabytes per second, not bad. So we'll say a WD elements, oh, whoops, copy. And that's putting us pretty darn close to 500. Let me pull up the calculator here. So if we do a Raspberry Pi with eight gigs as 109 with that coupon, I don't know how long it's gonna last, hopefully for a while. So you guys can buy and save some dollars. I always like saving money. Plus 209. So those items put us at 402.99. Um, so we're right, right at that $400 range. Um, so let's see. Total would be 402.99. Now other things you're gonna need, maybe. So with the Raspberry Pi, we've now filled our two USB 3 ports. Now we can use the slower USB 2, but another item that I actually just got in the mail is this guy right here. It's actually hooked up. Aki, Aki, probably ruining that. Um, they sell, let me go back to my list. Oh, I didn't even put it on the list. There's an anchor one here, just about the same thing. So th oh, this one's for the Raspberry Pi. This one was for a Mac. Um, so you would hook this end here to your Raspberry Pi, and then you have one, two, three, four um, USB ports. Now keep in mind, the this one here, the WD500 SSD external, um, I actually have to check how if it works pretty well on the Raspberry Pi ports as it is not powered by itself. Um, so to fix this, you would get something like this. So I ordered one of these as well. Again, it's hooked up. If you want to see a video on my rig, just let me know in the comments below and I'll shoot one with my cell phone. It's over to my left on the floor on a shelf. But this right here is basically a SATA. You can see the points there, USB 3, and this extra cable is basically a power brick. So it can power internal drives, which is nice because I had a bunch of these lying around and I didn't want to get a dock or a Synology. I wanted to go the cheapest way possible. So I took this, hooked it to that cord, and you can hook it directly to your Pi. All right, so that wraps up the $500 or less. I should probably call it the $400 or less. Um, hard, or sorry, Chia farming, plotting, and harvesting computer. Now I've read also on Reddit that one plot can take up to 30 hours on the Raspberry Pi. So do keep that in mind. Right now, I have a Mac Pro with a Xeon processor. The average plot time is between five and 12 hours, even on the fastest rig possible. So mine's not the fastest rig possible. If you did a really nice motherboard, a Ryzen, a Beastly Intel, 32 gigs of RAM, a MVME for writing and an MVME for reading, and then a USB 3 or internal drive, you're still looking at that 12 hour block. So it's meant to take a long time on purpose. The reason they did it this way is with other proof of space coins, people were doing something called grinding where they were deleting the plots and then rewriting them over and over and over and over and over, trying to game the network and cheat the network out of rewards. Now grinding is, uh, named after hard drives making that terrible grinding noise. I actually have a cheap NAS drive that is grinding right now, not the way of gaming the system, it's just an old hard drive grinding away and saving my plots for my farm. All right, so that's it for this video. I will say um, all of the links are Amazon links and they support this content and this channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra 
and I might get a couple bucks here and there. I'm just starting out, so I don't know. We'll see. Thanks again for all of your support. I love uh, talking to you guys in the comments section, so do keep those coming. If it was helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more Chia videos like this.